All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, every single one of you should be on these Google Slides talking about classifying triangles. Should be on the Google Slides talking about classifying triangles. Triangles are classified by side lengths and by angles. This slide here is classifying triangles by the lengths of their sides. And we look here, an equilateral triangle has how many congruent sides? Maxwell? Three. Three. Because this is three inches, three inches, and three inches. An equilateral triangle has three congruent sides. Now, also an equilateral triangle has three congruent angles. Each of these angles is going to be 60 degrees. So any equilateral triangle has the same sides, same, the sides are congruent, and the angles are congruent. An isosceles triangle has blank congruent sides. And let's go, Tristan. Two. Two congruent sides. Fill that in. Now I'm going to tell you something here. No, I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm not going to tell you yet. It should say at least two congruent sides. Because there was a question, and I disputed it on the star test several years ago, that said that this also was classified as an isosceles triangle. Well, because it ha does have two congruent sides. It actually has three, but... Two of them are congruent, so it could be an isosceles as well. And last but not least, classifying them by their sides, a scalene triangle has, Grace, how many congruent sides? Zero. Zero congruent sides. A scalene triangle has zero congruent sides. Make sure we are putting the answers in. Wow, I didn't even... I didn't even make it do the all spinny thing. <laughs> Classifying triangles by the measures of their angles. So we just classified by sides. Now we're going to classify by angles. So if I said describe this triangle, you would describe it by side length and angles. A right triangle has one 90 degree or what kind of angle class? Right. right. A right angle is a 90 degree angle. So you're typing in the answers as we go through this. An acute triangle has three blank answers uh, angles class. Acute. And an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. Okay, so you're writing those in the blanks. Then we're going to go back and look at the how do you know? Questions. The how do you know questions. So up here we're a right triangle. It says, how do you know if an angle is a right angle? Bryn, how do you know if an angle is a right angle? Um, it has a 90 degree angle. But how do I know? It'll have the little square in it. What if it doesn't have the little square? What is it, Garvin? Rosita? Good. Now, if I wasn't sure, and I didn't have the little square in there, I could take a piece of paper and the two edges and the angle should line up exactly on those two edges. That's also how I could tell what an acute angle is. Because it wouldn't line up on these two edges. See, this is smaller than 90. And a, an obtuse one, because it's bigger than 90. And I could always compare it with a sheet of paper. Because paper, the angles on this, the shape is a, right, or is a rectangle. So the angles are 90 degrees on all of these sides, or all of these angles. So we're answering that, Kristen. Okay. 
Uh, I mean, I mean, if I wanted to go 360 degrees, it'd be like, oh my, oh, pardon the technical interruptions. 360 would be like, you know, a 180 would be like, all right. So looking at this slide, classify each triangle, right? Isosceles, scalene, or equilateral. Then write acute, obtuse, or right. So each triangle can be named by its sides and by its angles. So for classifying it by its sides, what kind of triangle is it, Easton? One that's seven foot, one that's nine foot, one that's six feet. So what kind of triangle is that by its sides? Caitlin? Ava? A scalene, good. Classifying it by its sides, it is a scalene triangle. If we go back and look, our definition of a scalene triangle is it has three sides that are not equivalent not working out how I anticipate. Now if we classify the triangle by its angles, we have one angle that's 87 degrees, one angle that's 42 degrees, and one angle that's 51 degrees. So Zach, how is that classified? It's acute. An acute triangle. So this triangle is a scalene acute triangle. Scalene acute triangle. Now you got that song stuck in my head. What song? Did you see? No. Classify each triangle, write isosceles, scalene, or equilateral. Then write acute, obtuse, or right. So looking at that triangle, Kira, classifying it by its sides, it's a... Equilateral. It's an equilateral triangle. Classifying by its angles, Carter... Nixon? Acute. Acute. It is acute. Every equilateral triangle is acute. Every equilateral triangle is acute. It's a cute little angle. Uh -huh. Classify each triangle, then write isosceles, scalene, or equilateral, then write acute, obtuse, or right. So by its sides, it's what, Liam? By its sides. Good, isosceles. And by its angles, Lily? Acute. Acute. So classify the triangle by its sides. It's isosceles because two of them are equivalent. We can tell that by the lines, the blue hash marks. And we can tell by the angles, because they're all less than 90 degrees. Anybody have an idea how many degrees are in a triangle? Oh, you told us. I did tell it us. It was 360. That's a, that's a quadrilateral. 180. 180, good. So if I wanted to figure out how big these angles were, I could just subtract that from 29, 180 minus 29, and then divide it by 2, because those two are the same. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, if we if we folded those sides out, it would form a straight line. All right, do you understand? Ricky drew a triangle with angles measuring 90 degrees, 30 degrees, and 60 degrees. With no congruent sides. Which of these describes this triangle? Which of these describes this triangle? Read. Uh, 
Okay, D, a scalene right triangle. We're good with that? All right. Yeah, it says no congruent sides. And it says the angles are 90 degrees, 30 degrees, and 60 degrees. Okay. Equilateral isosceles or scalene. So this one, we're just looking at the sides. So A is what, Zach? Scalene. B is what, Easton? B is equal. Which one do we? Oh, wait, B? B. I thought we were on model. A is scalene. B is. Serenity? What is B? Um, yeah, but we're doing by the sides. So it's either equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. Not equilateral. Caitlin. Isosceles. Two congruent sides. Well, after I called on you four hours ago. Classifying by its sides, equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. C is what type? Jaden. Equilateral. Okay, equilateral. All three sides are the same. D is what type? Garvin. Isosceles. Two sides are the same. Right, acute, right, or obtuse to describe each triangle. John. E. Is that acute, a right, or an obtuse? Right. E, not F. E. Good, acute. All three angles are less than 90 degrees. F, Bryn. Right. We have that little box thing in the corner. It's right here to your right. Very good. And I'm not going to, oh, this one is the last slide. All right, acute, right, or obtuse to describe each triangle. So we're looking at the angles. On G, we have 45, 113 degrees, or 22 degrees. And so that is what, Tristan? Obtuse. Obtuse. Because that angle, 113, is greater than 90 degrees. H, Orin. We have three angles, 63 degrees, 76 degrees, and 41 degrees. So that is what kind of triangle? Acute. Uh, no? Yeah. No? Yeah. Acute. Because all three angles are less than 90. All three angles are less than 90. We did it. We did it. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.